Hey, what up? It's the K-Man back again with one of my oldest projects on this channel, which was to fix one of these three Apple IICs, preferably all of them. Essentially, I was hoping that none of them would have too much of a difficult problem, you know, maybe just a little bit of cleaning up, for which I got a bit of help from my cats. Because we all know Apple IIc stands for two cats. The first Apple IIc would happily power on and do its little beep, but the uh, disk drive wouldn't even make a single noise and you'd get this check disk drive, which I figured was probably pointing towards the one chip I didn't want it to be, the integrated WAS machine, a chip that you can't actually get these days and looking closer, it does have a bit of corrosion on just those pins, which was a bit weird. So after checking for any more corrosion, which I found none, and checking continuity between the chip and the motherboard, that was fine. I decided to go for something a little bit more simpler to uh, possibly see if that fixes it and went and reseated all the chips on the motherboard that were in sockets but uh, unfortunately still had check disk drive and no motor noises. On to 2C number 2 which has this little bracket on the screen which would stay there even when you ran a basic program and any program that you did stick in the working disk drive would just really not work at all. So I ran the RAM diagnostics and it says that the fourth chip from the right could be a bit dodgy there in the main RAM bank, not the auxiliary one, which could be here the fourth chip from the right or it could be the fifth chip from the right. Uh, it's a little bit confusing because sometimes there might actually be a chip nearby. I went and asked my experts, but yeah, they weren't all that sure either. So I went and ordered a whole pile of chips from eBay from China, looking very shiny they were, so I thought, yeah, this is a bit sus, so I went and got out the old isoprofol and uh, gave a bit of a clean, which, uh, yeah, a bit of the black came off, and that doesn't normally happen on chips, uh, especially with just isoprofol. I had brought some acetone to, you know, really check it out, and that still shouldn't you know, really do much to it, but that really brought off the black. So what's probably happened here is they could be legit chips, but more than likely they've been teared off some other bit of equipment using all sorts of methods, some good, some not. And this is what a lot of them look like underneath that nice shiny paint. I was kind of left with this situation where I've got all these chips, not really sure if any of them are working, not sure if any of them are legit, didn't have a really good way to sort of test them except for a bit of, you know, resistance checking, you know, checking for any shorts that shouldn't really be there on the chip. So I tried piggybacking the chips with a few that did look legit, tried a few different slots, couldn't actually get any success. So I'm just going to wait until my next order of chips comes in and yeah, hopefully they're good. I saved for last the 2C that I'm most excited about getting working. It's the one with the ZRAM Ultra Free card. I figured let's give it a bit of a, you know, reseat, clean out and see how it goes. Unfortunately, I still got this checkerboard pattern, which I was starting to wonder does it actually even work without the whole board in there? So without the board, without the CPU, and without the MMU, I gave it another go. And funnily enough, without a CPU, I get the same checkerboard pattern. So I'm starting to think, hey, maybe, maybe it's not actually making contact underneath, which can be a bit of a problem with these. So I gave it another go and, well, yeah, you kind of sort of got some patterns. I did eventually get it connecting well enough that it did work, but all you'd have to do was tap something on the keyboard and that would loosen the connection between the board and the main board enough that it would pretty much go crazy like that again. I really should give this board a bit more of an inspection and I heard some bad things about these batteries leaking out, so I better go and check underneath to see if there isn't any damage underneath which unfortunately I did find a few little crusties here and there. Uh, continuity seemed to be going through alright so maybe I'd sort of just caught it barely in time. I'd uh, pulled off the battery and it 
left a few legs behind and yeah there definitely was a bit of leakage juice out there and a few more bad signs of uh, areas that ne at least needed a bit of neutralization and cleaning up I unsocketed a few chips as well because uh, yeah like this one I had to sort of soak the pins in vinegar and just give the expansion board a general cleanup but then I'm just like wouldn't it be bad if the Apple TC actually doesn't work so I went and put the CPU and the MMU back into their sockets I want to give it a go with a bit of proper software but before I do that use a cleaning disc and some good old isopropyl alcohol and then see what's in this uh, little collection that could be worth playing boring mm, could be good oh wait a second flight simulator let's go yeah looking good all right so i uh, got a bit of choice here but let's go for the most popular game on my youtube channel flight simulator Ooh, with crash well <laughs> i've experienced it that and uh yeah look at this look at the scenery i think we're in like a tron or something here flying above the liney terrain with oh look at that little bit of uh, a little of a uh, angle there very very nice well, uh, I'm a little bit confused about the controls or even what's happening here, but hey, there you go. There's one Apple IIc that is definitely working. I will hopefully get it going with that, you know, ZRAM Ultra Free expansion card because uh, that puts in a little bit more RAM and uh, lets you run CPM on the Apple IIc. So, uh, yeah, pretty keen to get that going. But until then, just going to have to just keep flying through the uh, wild <laughs> black and white yonder and if you like some retro and modern sort of vaguely relating to gaming and gaming technology well computers hey and video consoles and all that sort of random jive uh, please subscribe to the channel but most of all for everyone watching thank you so much for watching